Hey guys, GNT here, and today I want to talk about this chapter 71 of Dragon Ball Super. Like, I, I didn't even know it was out, I just checked, I was like, ah, it's like the middle of the month, it's, it's, well, it's past the middle of the month, but I was like, ah, it should be a new chapter out, right? And I checked, and here it is, chapter 71, which actually was surprisingly good, because recently, since they started this new arc, I've been kind of bored with it. Like the last arc kinda kinda didn't end all that well for me. But um with the whole moral thing, but with this arc, it's just it had such a slow start. And I guess because they were trying to build up these other characters that are gonna be important to your um your arc, right? Like uh with this chapter was mostly Well, actually I was gonna say it was mostly like uh based around the character Maki, Maki. I don't know how you say that name. I'm assuming it's Maki, but that chick, which a uh, fun thing here. Uh, she's the first chicken Dragon Ball I've actually liked, you know, because I don't I don't I'm not very fond of the females in Dragon Ball. They they kind of, you know, outside of like Boma, but that's because Boma basically started this whole adventure. So she's been there from the start. But for the most part, that the females in Dragon Ball just are not all that interesting. But uh, this Maki chick, and she seems to be um, for for lack of better terms, a complete cunt, and I, <laughs> I like it. Oh goodness, I love it. Uh, she just, she has this horrible attitude, and like their whole family, they 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 look like uh, uh they look like the black version of Namekians. Like clearly, they can't be actually black because in the um. In the manga, their their skin is, is white, so I'm assuming there's some uh, very light color. But they have dreads, and they <laughs> look like Namekians. So I'm saying they're, they're clearly the evolution of the Namekian. When you go far enough, you become a, a black guy. You get dreads. <laughs> That's what these guys are, clearly. But yeah, cool characters, though. Or at least they, they seem that way so far, with Maki being the standout character, which is, it's just odd. Because in a lot of these um shonen style manga, the females just kind of suck. It is what it is. And I'm not saying that that's because, you know, that's the natural order of things, but... <laughs> that's how most of these manga are. So, so far, she's actually very interesting. And I'm really excited to see more. Oh, goodness. I mean, she she shows up and she basically tricks the the simple-minded people. Well, technically, I don't know if you even call them simple-minded because I mean, Bomba's a genius, so I don't I don't know. Just gullible. There we go, gullible. Tricks the gullible people into believing some junk. I mean, with how many aliens they've had to deal with by now. You would think that they'd be like, eh, I don't know if we should just listen to you saying that somebody's a bad guy. But, it's whatever, you know. If it was just Goku, like if they went straight to Goku and said, there's a bad guy we need you to beat. And he was like, okay, I'd believe it. But everybody else going along with it, I guess that's why they didn't show Piccolo and, and Gohan. Like, <laughs> they would have questioned it. What do you mean? How do we know that that's the bad guy and you're not? You're like, nah, let's, let's cut the, the smart characters out of this. <laughs> Anybody with a brain, we're not going to put in this chapter. Screw that. It's like all the guys that would question this. Sorry, had to had to, to breathe for a second there. It's like all the guys that would question this decision. Let's uh, let's not put them here. They, they need to be absent from this arc. <laughs> Those guys have brains. But, you know. Chi-Chi and Bulma just were like, oh, okay. Called up Goku and Vegeta, and Goku and Vegeta were like, oh, okay. Now, I get the Vegeta thing, because he's like, ah, oh, nobody says they're the strongest in the universe outside of me. It's like, yeah, yeah, he, he can easily be drawn in, because he's kind of an idiot, too. So, I would get them going straight to Goku and Vegeta, but going through other people and them being this dumb, too, it's crazy. And then the whole um, uh, what's 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 old dude's name with um the the eye patch thing, uh, Granola I think his name is. That cat, 
he seems like he's stupid too. Like I, I, I took him for a smarter guy than what he is. They just told him some junk and he went with it. It's crazy. But yeah, it's, it's, as far as the new characters go though, that, that, that Maki chick is the only one that's interesting. And like she is, she's, oh, she needs to stick around. You know how sometimes we have villains that just disappear after stuff? She needs to stick around. We, we need her. She's refreshing. Like she's she's not some some super amazingly overpowered character that they're just throwing in, you know. I don't know, like um, <clears throat> uh, Kefla. I'm just gonna say Kefla because I don't remember their names separately. I only remember Kefla because she's in Fighters. <laughs> I don't remember the other two's names, but they sucked. Like it was it was dumb. This chick. She is very entertaining. Like she she carried this whole chapter. Just her alone. It was it was great. But yeah, um one other thing that was good in this chapter is that they're finally, you know, uh talking about the whole Ultra Instinct thing. Cause the first thing I said when they did Ultra Instinct in um in the dang anime, I was like, this was supposed to be like a, a state of being, not a transformation. And then it just turned into another transformation. And they're finally addressing that. He's like, oh, Goku. Uh, this this Ultra Instinct thing isn't supposed to be a transformation. I was like, oh, oh, he said it. Oh, goodness, finally. I've been waiting for so long for somebody to address this crap. Because I was like, Ultra Instinct is supposed to just be a thing that you do. And then, you know, it was like, yeah, you know, uh. That transformation thing is, is not what Ultra Instinct is. It's supposed to be a state that you're just always in. And I was like, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. And that, 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 that really, that really did it for me. It made me feel good. I was, <laughs> I was put into a good mood after hearing that. So we're finally actually, you know, addressing the Ultra Instinct thing. And then they did a little, little time jump, which was a little crazy, you know, unusual. But apparently they've trained and they've gotten stronger. And here's the thing. Here's how I'm thinking this is going to go. What I'm assuming is going to happen with this is he wished to be like the strongest in the universe. And they're going to be like he was at that moment. And then Goku and Vegeta has been training. <laughs> so so they, they became stronger than they were. That's how I'm thinking they're going to go with this. They might not. They might just say he's always the strongest in the universe but I, I don't I don't think that's how it's gonna go I think they probably just boosted him for at the moment he made the wish or maybe I'm just thinking too much but that's what I was assuming as to how they get around this because you can't just keep making people that can beat Goku and Vegeta you know we had the whole um the whole Zamasu thing where he was freaking immortal so they couldn't beat him uh, they had, uh, freaking, freaking, um, mm, mine's blanking out, uh, Broly, who they had to fuse to beat, but Broly is, is, is still around, so he wasn't defeated, technically. Like, you know, he, he just kind of was wished back to his planet. And then you had the whole Jiren thing, which, ugh, that didn't even make any sense. But, uh, it's... Oh, I'm sorry. That whole Tournament of Power arc was just gross. It was like the worst thing ever. But anywho, it seems like they might actually have a good arc going here. And that's 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 what I'm looking forward to. Like, I'm hoping that they're not just, oh, this guy's super duper powerful now and he, they can't beat him. That would be irritating because Goku and Vegeta haven't got a lot of freaking wins this um series. Like, nobody's gotten a lot of wins this series. It's either been like, oh, well, draw, or we have to run back time because you guys are idiots, or we have to have this this little uh, weird child thing come and erase the enemy because you can't beat it. You know, it's it's been a lot of that type of stuff. So, I'm hoping that this is a for real type of fight, you know, and they actually win. Which I doubt this granola cat's gonna be like the final boss of this arc. Seeing as they're already going to him. It's probably gonna be something 
real jank simple. They're probably gonna agree that they're not actually each other's enemies. Some BS, some big bad's gonna show up and they're gonna have to fight that cat. You know, that's what I'm assuming. And anywho, I'm gonna stop rambling on now. That's uh, those are, that's how I feel about this chapter. It was good. It was actually a uh, freak to me. It was a freaking five out of five. It was a great chapter, man. Usually, I'm left uh, feeling a little empty after each chapter of this series, because usually they just don't give me what I desire. But this one, it's real good. It's real good. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you thought about the chapter in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Peace out and have a great day.